My first question is how much of the firing of Richard LaRiviere was your idea and under your advisement? Well, this is a uh, decision made by the board, but you know, we're really moving forward here. Uh, yesterday I met with uh, representatives of the faculty and students uh, here in the conference room, also members of the foundation and the alumni board. Uh, they're very interested in moving forward and uh, very excited about the opportunity to be directly involved in the transition in the long-term search for the president, but more importantly in our larger efforts to, uh, uh, to uh, move Oregon education <coughs> forward across the board. So was much of the decision the board's or your advisement? I'm not interested in revisiting the past. I'm interested in moving forward. I think it's important for the University of Oregon to engage in, in our pursuit of excellence across the system of, of education. And as I said, I think we've got a good start uh, after the meeting we had yesterday. So your job as governor is to look out for the whole Oregon University system. But the job of the president of the university, isn't it to look out for what's best for just the university, which is what the Well, I think it's both. That's why we have a system of, of higher education. You know, we're interested, obviously, in pursuing excellence in higher education, certainly in Lane County and, and the University of Oregon, which is an incredibly important uh, institution, but also in our big urban university, Portland State, and our land-grant college, and then the regionals as well. Some major University of Oregon donors, including Lori Loki and Phil Knight, have some harsh words to say. I'm sure you've read them, just about a death spiral and um, being mediocre in the University of Oregon. What do you have to say in response to that? And are you worried about their donations? Well, what I have to say is it's really time to move forward. I mean, you know, we've got a, a lot of work to do. We've got a very ambitious uh, plan here in the state to, to really uh, uh, excel uh, from early childhood through post-secondary education. Our system of post-secondary education, our university system, is a very important part of that. And what we need to do now is really lean into that together and make sure that happens. Are you worried about donors and their hesitancy? I'm, I'm not worried about donors. Okay. Did you yourself not raise the salaries of state workers back in 95, even though there was a freeze in effect for state workers? Is this different from the Riviere increasing salaries, even though there was a freeze at your... Well, the issue, I think the issue uh, in this biennium is we faced one of the largest per capita uh, deficits in the country, larger than certainly California or Washington, and we were trying to work together to create an equitable way to manage through the, uh, through the budget crisis. So you're saying the budget was different in 95 than it is now? Significantly different. We were in a boom economy in 1995. But weren't you yourself a maverick <coughs> and kind of went rogue in that respect? And, and then would you have respect for La Riviere in doing that? I have respect for the uh, instructors and the professors at every one of our seven universities. What was the breaking point in La Riviere's tenure where you uh, and the state board had enough? I'm not going to use that again, so. Um, you keep asking me, of course. But, uh, I do, but then I, I told you there. this is what the interview was about. Your two most public actions in, involved this termination, then also the stay of the executions during your tenure, um, neither of which is popular with the people. Would you say you're becoming more of a heavy handed governor? Well, you know, on the, uh, the issue of uh, uh, Mr. Haugen, it was a personal decision. Uh, I have that latitude in the Constitution to make uh, the decision I did. And, um, you know, not everything you do. Uh, pleases everybody, but at the end of the day, this was certainly a, a decision that uh, was, was right for me, and I think ultimately will uh, st uh, stimulate a, a long overdue conversation about the death penalty in Oregon. Are you worried about not getting reelected because these are unpopular decisions? Not a bit. How did you and LaRiviere see eye to eye on the future of education and the broken university system? Uh, oh, Dr. LaRiviere is, is, uh, is, I think, a real visionary. I think he uh, uh, was, a, was a great advocate for policies that I think make a great deal of sense, not just for the University of Oregon, but for the larger university system. And I think the, uh, you know, the important lesson here is those, those policies need to be cast in the frame of how do we uh, create excellence in higher education uh, in the state of Oregon, not just for the University of Oregon, but for all of the institutions of higher learning that are so important to our state. So how are your proposed solutions different then? Very little, they were very, there's very little policy difference between where I'd like to go and, and the proposals that were embodied in the, in the, uh, the new partnership.